the beautiful city of L.A. just before the turn of the 1900s. And a look at how the numbers just don't add up. All these old and very aged brick buildings amongst the muddy and dirty roads with the bleached out white skies. And of course the photoshopped or added in American flags afterwards. I mean, when you're the U.S. hotel, you better show a U.S. flag on it, right? Oh, and of course this was in the 1880s. Let's take a look at the population of L.A. then. Not too shabby for just over 10,000 people. Not too shabby at all. And for a town that big, you certainly need a hospital built that large. And for so many patients, don't worry, it only took them just under a year to build it. Really takes the word founded to a whole new meaning. These buildings weren't built rapidly in a year for a population just over 10,000. This was a founded city. I guess the guy in charge of uh, bleaching out the skies tried to just rush out for the weekend there. I mean, what are these? Come on. Again, they're telling us this is all just relatively new construction. Doesn't look aged or weathered a bit. Certainly that's why everybody's excitedly posed around it. The founded structures. Or in the Arcadia here in 1890. Nice little shacks and shanties right up next to it. And another hotel, the Raymond Hotel in 1886. Just in case the whole entire population of 10,000 plus people wanted their whole families and extended families. They had two locations. One hotel for your immediate family and one hotel for your in-laws, I guess. And of course, who could forget the castle schools? No town of just over 10,000 is complete without them. The first street light being installed in 1882. That's certainly a nice spot for a street light. But of course, Los Angeles, just like anywhere else, erasing all the beauty of the old world piece by piece. As Napoleon said it best, history is nothing more than a set of lies agreed upon. Question everything, friends. Until next time.